Hello, my name is Olivia and I'm from East Hearts Family Centre Service. Today I'm going to be discussing the importance of identifying early literacy skills and how to promote these in the home learning environment. Literacy is simply the ability to read and write. What is early literacy? This is the development of the skills a child needs to learn to read, so in future they can read to learn. In other words, it's the skill a child needs before being able to read. Research has proven that by sharing rhymes and stories and songs for pleasure, you help children build their ability to express themselves fluently and grammatically in their speech. There is a strong link between a child's vocabulary and comprehension. The more words your child knows and understands, the easier it will be to understand what they're reading once they're able. It's never too early to start building your child's vocabulary. Babies are hearing your speech patterns right from inside the womb. Once your baby is born and they start to develop, they quickly learn to respond to your cuddles and interaction. When a young baby cools and babbles, he or she is practicing the most common sounds of language. If you speak a different language at home, speak to your child in that language. This can help grow their vocabulary and make connections at school. It can also increase their curiosity and readiness to learn at school. Learning opportunities in a home language will help literacy learning in English. Later, as they grow and develop, model intentional speaking with a child by saying the names of objects, foods, actions or even emotions as you play and interact with them. For example, say cup as you hand them a cup. As a parent, you can help your child learn words by teaching them how to describe the world around them. Books are an excellent way to introduce vocabulary that may not be in the child's immediate environment. As we talk to children, they learn to recognise common words and their meaning. Beginning with picture books are an excellent starting point as you can model describing what you see with your child. Take it in turns and make it a fun conversation. Hard books and baby feely books are a good way to get children curious about books and learn how to handle them with care. Try to make reading stories a regular activity. Rereading the same stories will help your child with anticipating what comes next and reinforcing commonly used words and phrases. Choose books that have lots of repetition or repeated refrains so your child becomes used to them and can join in with you as you read. Lots of popular stories have been translated into community languages. This will build familiarity and understanding. Your library is a really good place to start to source a variety of books and stories. Story time doesn't have to be for very long. Five to ten minutes a day is plenty and choose a time when you and your child can both relax and enjoy the experience together. If you can access them, why not try listening to a children's audio book together? This can be fun if you're in a car journey or relaxing at home. This is a good way to build your children's imagination when there are no pictures or props. When you're out and about, make a habit of pointing out print in the environment, like road signs or logos of popular shops and door numbers, or even the first letter of their name, for example. This will help them notice print and that print carries meaning. Mark making is an important skill that a child needs to develop before formally learning to form their letters for writing. Encourage your child to make marks in wet sand or flour or even shaving foam for sensory play. This is a good way to have fun while making marks. Let them draw and paint freely with big markers, paint brushes, fingers, chalk for example. This will help with coordinating those larger muscles like their arms and later on as they, do, as they learn to grip and hold tools for their smaller muscles. That's their fine motor skills. Well developed fine motor control is essential for children to be able to hold writing tools like pencils, pens and jumble markers with the right grasp to form their letters for writing. Thank you for watching. You can find further information about early literacy skills on the Book Trust and Literacy Trust websites which will appear on the screen.